unfortunately, I forgot this is too tight. And then there, it's quite windy today too, so the tallest and the biggest sunflower broke. It just broke actually, because you can see there's water coming out from this. And I moved it into this water plastic container. Slowly, I think I, I don't think I can save it. Sadly, unfortunately, the sunflower is not doing well. Hello, guys. Um, I have some good news on the sunflower uh, that was broken. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, that was broken um, and as you can see I put a back a plastic clear plastic bag over the top to um, increase the humidity um, and I cut off a lot of leaves to reduce the um, water loss and it seems like it's doing better than yesterday and hopefully we can get some um, roots development um, and then after that we can maybe replant it and we'll see about that but for now I think it's doing better the sunflower the broken sunflower is uh, currently recovering right here um, unfortunately um, I think I made a mistake um, I didn't put enough holes in this bag so it's too a little too warm and humid inside and the, the top roots is rotting but um, as you can see here new roots are growing so which is a good sign I'll probably um, transplant this into soil um, if, when there's when there's more roots. Hello okay, guys, I just had the first um, blueberry harvest of the year. A lot, so which is great. I've also um, pick up the daffodils. Um, I'm going to dry these and store them. Um, these are the soil from the daffodil container. I'm going to dry them a little bit and then store the soil as well. So I've dried the daffodil bulbs right from here and then I brushed um, brush the soil and some other um, roots and leaves off and this is the result I'm going to store these in um, what is it peat moss dried peat moss with um, perlite um, and then I'm going to just store them in the box and then plant them maybe September or October probably November I don't know but yeah these are the daffodils so I cut off all the, um, well not all, there's two left, but all of the strawberry, and this is how much we have. Too many, I don't even know how I could fit them all in that pot. And there's this one, which is really cute. There's strawberry on this one. But yeah, I'll try to plant all of these in, in, in the pot. Oh, by the way, those are just the... Um, <coughs> the connecting uh, stems, uh, which I'm com composting to the soil. But yeah, I'll show my um, final product in a little bit. So I finished planting all of the strawberry plants. It's very messy because there's just too many of them. Um, going to water them down and put them aside, probably over there. And hopefully we can see... Um, more strawberry plants 
in the next few weeks.